Removing the power supply board. The tools required are a Phillips screwdriver, a 7mm socket with ratchet, and a inch pound torque wrench. First, we will need to power down and disconnect all power sources from the radian prior to replacement of internal parts. Turn off the following breakers in this order. AC out breaker, grid AC input breaker, generator AC input breaker, main DC breakers, PV input and charge controller output or GFDI. Unscrew the six Phillips screws to remove the dead front of the load center. Verify no voltage is present from the terminals. Battery voltage, AC hot out L1 and L2, grid AC in L1 and L2, generator AC in L1 and L2, PV input. Next, remove the 22 screws that attach the cover to the chassis. Remove the three cap nuts that secure the power supply board to the threaded standoffs. Remove the power supply board by pulling straight up. Use caution when removing the board. It is connected by a 20 pin header. Once the board has been removed, inspect the five by eight spacers and replace if needed. Replacing the power supply board. Align the pin header on the control board with the connectors on the power board. Push the power board straight down until the header connection is seated. Replace the three cap nuts. Before replacing the front cover, ensure no tools or loose hardware has been left inside the chassis. Replace the stainless steel cover. With the Phillips screwdriver, replace the 22 screws that attach the cover to the chassis. Note, do not over torque the screws. This may warp the cover. Replace the dead front of the load center. Power up procedure and output voltage check. Turn power sources back on. Apply power to the inverter by turning on the DC circuit breaker. Keep AC breakers off. You will hear each fan cycle once, then bolt together. Once the inverter is powered up, from the Mate 3, press the inverter button, then press on. This will allow the inverter to start inverting power. Verify the output voltage reads 240 volts displayed on the Mate 3. Turn on the AC output breaker. Turn on the grid input breaker. Turn on the generator input breaker. Turn on the charge controller breaker. Turn on the PV input breaker. Congratulations, you are all done.